Woman's jog turned into a serious battle against an attacker. She fought the man yesterday around 6 a.m. near Fulton Avenue and Hatteras Street. And that's where CBS 2's Candace Crone is live with details with a, and a possible twist in that investigation. Candace. Yeah, well, the woman was just out getting some exercise yesterday. Well, little did she know her routine jog would turn into a fight for her safety. I mean, it's scary. Like, you can't go anywhere and feel secure. Susie Chavez walks down Fulton Avenue in Van Nuys all the time. She and neighbors were shocked to learn a jogger was sexually assaulted on the very same street yesterday morning. It's just amazing that this can happen in this area. It's pretty quiet. Police say the victim was jogging around 6 a.m. when a strange man approached her from behind and groped her. She managed to fight him off and call police. It doesn't matter what neighborhood you live in, you always have to be careful. I personally, as a woman, don't go out in the dark for these types of walks where I have my headphones on. Investigators released this sketch of the man. He's described as Hispanic, 5'5", with a thin build, and around 25 to 30 years old. The sketch is eerily similar to this one released back in June in a separate attack less than five miles away. The suspect in that case pulled a knife on a jogger at Lake Balboa and demanded her cell phone, then pushed her into some bushes. People who exercise in the area say yesterday's incident is a reminder to be vigilant. You can only do so much to be safe because at the end of the day, you don't know if they're carrying any weapons. Even if I am walking, I make sure that I'm always in a lighted neighborhood. I'm always looking around my shoulder. I'm always listening. Investigators noticed that the sketch from yesterday's attack as well as the one from June look very similar and they are looking into whether the two incidents are related.